Sickle cell disorder is a generic condition where the abnormal hemoglobin S is inherited from parents, thereby causing the normal round and flexible blood cells to become stiff and sickle-shaped, preventing free flow of oxygen round the body. The condition, which usually causes severe pains to the victim, is most times treated with painkillers. This Dr. Shegun Shoyombo, a psychiatrist with the National Hospital Abuja, says is responsible to why many sickle cell patients oftentimes abuse drugs. He made this known at a seminar organized by Strong Cell Foundation to commemorate this year's World Sickle Cell Day. Whether it is arthritis, whether it is sickle cell disease, whether it is cancer, whatever the condition is that is causing the pain, we don't want anybody to live in pain. So, what do doctors do? What do healthcare workers do? They will try to take that pain away. The problem is that in taking that pain away, we may use drugs that have potentials for abuse. Then, this one is not paracetamol kind of pain. Then, this one is not a ibuprofen type of pain. It is only so 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 drug that takes it away. Remember what I said at the beginning? We don't want anybody to be in pain. So for as long as it says it's in pain, you are compelled to give that drug. But it gets worse. It gets to a point where even when he is not in pain, he now goes to use the drug. Dr. Ekaite David, a consultant hematologist also with the National Hospital Abuja, encouraged sickle cell patients to build up coping mechanisms to manage their health. There are sickle cell warriors, some of them are doctors, some of them are nurses, some of them are engineers. So it doesn't limit you. The sky is your limit. You just have to know that I can't do certain things. So what are some of the things we can't do as sickle cell patients? Unfortunately, we don't cope with stress of any sort, physical, mental, emotion. Extremes of temperatures are not good for us. So we came together and decided to put this foundation together so we can reach out to upcoming warriors using our self, showcasing ourselves as a platform and then also try to find out how we can also help in the medical aspects because the drugs are very expensive. The World Sickle Cell Day is commemorated on 19 June annually to raise awareness of the disorder at both national and international levels. Paulum David, CNN News.